This is our stone installation video guide for tranquility water features. Um, in this video, we're just going to very quickly cover the connectors for the pump, the final installation for the stone water feature that we've now put in place. Uh, we've done the light installation, we've got the tube running through, we've connected the pump up, we've connected the light up. What we want to do now is we want to get some water in the reservoir below and, uh, and cover up the final access hatch. So with the access hatches, generally speaking, sometimes the stone features do go over them. In this case, it just about does here. Um, it doesn't matter, obviously, you can just tip the stones back. They are only for access as and when, so you don't need constant access to this. And, um, and also, it's probably be covered in shingle at the end of the day when it's in your garden, so you won't see it regardless. Uh, while we are talking about that, obviously, the grids that we do supply, they come with a five by five um, holes there. Obviously, with some smaller stones and shingles, they are just going to fall through. So what we recommend, although not supplied, is you can get a metal gauze that just goes over that or a, um, a pond gauze. And then that just allows you to put the shingle right up nice and close to the stone feature itself. We will be covering that in this video, actually. Uh, we don't supply it, but it does give that nice extra finish when you're using smaller stones. So obviously, if you've got some larger sandstone pebbles, um, they don't go through that and you can cover the area. But uh, with the smaller stones, you just want to cover this grid up so that, uh, so that obviously the stones don't fall through and get into the sump area. So what we've done now is we've uh, got the pump um, installed in the sump below. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking this connector. It does come with 10 meters of low voltage cable. Um, so you can run this through the garden. It's not a problem at all. It is designed to be outside all year round. It's come with a two pin standard 12 volt connector that goes into our transformers that are available on the website. Or they will be supplied with the kits when purchased. This will run to the garden. It will run to the, uh, the, sump, the transformer that plugs into the standard three pin 240 volt socket. So we've got everything installed. We've got the cable end out so that we've got access to that. In this instance, because we're just in a demo area, we don't need a lot of cable, but ultimately you would run that around your garden. You can leave any excess cable in the sump area below. It is all water grade cable, so it's not a problem at all for it. We'll get some water in here and we'll see how it looks. So we just want to pour some water into the sump area. A little bit more water here to get that in as well. Oh, we've got plenty of water there. Perfect. So, when we supply the stones, we do always try and make sure we get the right length of uh, tube work for the features themselves. However, on occasions, Sometimes the tube is a little long, so if you've got any excess tube, we don't want that to kink up underneath the feature itself. So you can either cut this down with a pair of scissors or make sure that when you install it, it's, uh, it doesn't get any kinks in it because that will affect the flow at the top of the feature. So just make sure that the tube that comes out the bottom of the feature, where it goes to the pump, isn't excessively long. As I say, you can cut that down or just make sure it doesn't have any kinks in it. Once you've got it all installed, you'll be able to power it up. So we'll get this one connected now. And then obviously this should allow the light to come on at the top. So all the lights work with the pump connectors themselves. So on a mains power system, the light will constantly be on while the water is flowing. On a solar system, which we also advertise as well and do sell, the lights only come on at night time. They work off the, um, the light sensor that's integrated into the solar panel. So these don't come on all the time. They only come on at night time when the feature is running. So with this particular one, it looks like we've got it fairly level. Got a good flow on there as well, a nice gentle trickle. Seems to be covering the majority of the stone, which is exactly what we're looking for. But if after doing this and you've got the water running, you do find that potentially it's coming to one side or it's not exactly as you want, or just over final settling in, what you can do is you can manipulate the stone, put some packers under it, and obviously you can manipulate that so that it, it goes exactly where you want it to go. Ultimately, you want this as level as possible, because um, obviously that just makes it easier from the outset. The pumps themselves do have flow restrictors on, so if you find that the flow is a little bit more than you would expect, then you can turn that flow down from the pump itself. But we do always try and provide the right pump for the right system so that you get this nice gentle trickle. Uh, and that's the final installation video for our Acorn sandstone wood feature in this instance. What we're going to be doing next really is more decoration. So we will just cover this area here with some shingle. Um, we'll be getting some stones on here so it all looks nicely dressed up. But uh, when it comes to the installation, that's pretty much everything you need to know.